So next problem, sa ano na tayo sa continuous compound interest problem. So yung formula is halos same lang na growth and decay. growth and decay. So, yung A instead of P ginawa siyang A. Kasi uh, A means amount kasi pera yung pinag-uusapan. So, aman meron tayong problem. So, aman place 10,000 in an account. Assuming no additional deposits or withdrawals. How much will the man have after 10 years? If the bank pays 4.5% per annum. So, per annum is per annum means yearly. So, and, uh, per annum means yearly compounded continuously for the entire period. So, ang meaning ng compounded continuously, so, yung initial amount mo, after a year, tutubo siya. So, ngayon, yung tubo mo, mag a yun sa initial amount. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng compounded continuously. So, every year, nagbabago yung amount kasi nagdadagdag yung nag, uh, every year, nagdadagdag yung ay nagbabago yung amount kasi yung interest niya is dinadagdag sa initial amount. So, kada taon, iba-iba yung kada taon, iba-iba yung initial amount. So, gawa muna tayo ng table. First step is gawa ng table. At zero year, so, meron siyang 10,000. So, yan yung initial amount. So, A, O. At 10 years, so how how much will the man have after 10 years? So, ang inaharap natin is amount at 10 years, A sub 10. So, yung 4.5%, yan yung value ng K. So, hindi na natin nahanapin na yung value ng K since given na sa problem. So, 4.5%, so, i-change mo siya dapat sa decimal. So, Move ka ng dalawang place to the Move ka ng dalawang place to the left 1, 2 So may isa ng 0 0.045 So yan yung pag change ng percent to decimal Mag move ka lang ng dalawang place to the Right, ah left, to the left Two place to the left So yan yung K So ang formula natin is Amount is equal to so, AOE na siya, AOE. Raise to KT. So, amount at 10 years. So, A, A sub 10 is equal to initial amount is 10,000. E, raise to 0 0.045. So, yung 0 0.045 is K times 10 years. So, input nyo lang sa calculator. So, A is equal to 15,683.12 pesos. So, yan yung sagot. Bale, hindi ko na siya. Hindi na natin i-derive yung kung paano na kaya yung formula since nasa inyo na yung tool para may derive siya. Next problem. Initially, there are 20,000 in an account. If after 20 years, the amount grows up to 50,000. Considering no additional deposits or withdrawal, what is the interest per annum compounded continuously for the entire period? How many years will be the amount be 100,000? So, at zero year, at, at zero year is 20,000. So, at 20 years, Amount is 50,000. 
So, ang hinahanap natin is T years. Na ang amount nyo na is 100,000. First step is gawa ka ng table. So, so what is the interest per annum? So, hinahanap yung K. What is the interest per annum? First step is isolve ang K. So, gamitin natin to at 20 years. Gamitin natin yung at 20 years. Hanapin natin yung K, gamit yung at 20 years. Since kompleto yung time, at yung years, saka amount. So, at 20 years, A is equal to AOE, raised to KT. So, amount at 50 years is 50,000. 50,000 is equal to 20,000. E raised to 20K. So, formulate natin sa E raised to K. So, 50,000 over 20,000 is equal to E raised to 20K. So, multiply natin by, by LN yung buong equation para mababa natin ng 20K. So, LN E raised to 20K to the base E is equal to LN. 50,000 over 20,000. So, by law of logarithmic cancellation, cancel yan. So, bawa yung 20K is equal to LN 50,000 over 20,000. So, multiply natin by 1 over 20. Yung buong equation, 1 over 20. Para matanggal to. So, K is equal to 1 over 20 LN 50,000 over 20,000. So, yan yung value ng K. So, so, ang value ng K is, so, input nyo sa calculator, value ng K is, is 0 0.04581. Since, interest ang inahanap is, raise natin sa 100%. So, ang, Ang interest is interest is 4 point move to the 1, 2 move to the right 2 times so 4.58 4.58 4 percent so 4.58 percent yan yung interest interest I so Pag mag-change ka ng decimal to percent, move to the right ka naman. Two times. So, 1, 2, 4.58. Or, multiply by 100. So, ito yung interest. So, bali, ang hanapin natin is yung T. Yung time. Uh, yung years na ang amount is 100,000 na. So, bali, tandaan nyo itong interest sa kaito. So, balik ko kumpitin na natin yung years. Gamit to. At t years, at t years is equal to A is equal to initial amount A raised to KT. So, A natin is, yung A natin sa at t years, so 100,000 is equal to 20,000. A raised to 0 0.0458 so, yung K natin kanina is 0 0.04580. So, equate natin sa E. So, 100,000 over 20,000. E raised to 0 0.04580. So, multiply natin yung buong equation by LN. So, ang may isagot is LN5 is equal to LN E raised to 0 0.04580 to the base E. So, by law of logarithmic cancellation, cancel na yan, bababa yung 0 0.04580 is equal to LN5. So, equate natin sa T, T is equal to LN5 over 0 0.04580. So, input nyo to sa calculator. Input nyo to. 
So, ang sagot is 35 years.